Okay, what is up guys? Today I'm filming a proper meet prep with me vlog for my trip. I'm leaving on Monday and it, today is Wednesday, basically Thursday, I mean. It's almost 9 p.m. and I just got back from Walmart because I had to get some stuff. I have to do a little haul really quick, but before I start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, um, check out my socials. Um, make sure you keep up with them so you're not missing out on my new posts and stuff. And, I mean, no. I don't want to say if you're not keeping up with them, you're missing out. And, yeah, make sure you like and comment. And, yeah, I'm actually really excited to film. Um, I have to delete some clips so I can have some storage for the trip and stuff. Allergies are just, like, out of this world right now, so. I feel like I sound like Chucky from Rugrats. So I got this, like, hand sanitizer because I don't think I'm going to be able to bring my emotional support hand sanitizer that got me through covid so um you know march of 2020 and on so i got this smaller one that you can just put on your keychain or your purse or your wallet or your lanyard so i'm bringing this it looks like a bird that's the scent mitris mitris i just mixed up the two of the flavors it's um mint and citrus but instead of I said instead of a instead of that I said mistress or something the brush for this trip um it's a tour travel brush replaceable head non-toxic it's supposedly woman-owned and cruelty-free plant-based inks water-based coatings 100% toxin free low energy machines like that's really gonna sell me as long as you freaking work hopefully it's not like hella soft because some of the organic toothbrushes are just like hella soft and it just makes me feel like my teeth aren't clean yeah there's just a lot of things going on in this packaging that i don't want to read to y'all but um it folds in that's what got me it folds in but this shoe was like five dollars i spent 138 dollars on nothing i freaking hate this inflation row but then I got this grab and go bag. This is basically what I wanted to come to Walmart for, but I came out with other shit. So I wanted to put my sunscreen in this. I also wanted to put my conditioner in this and maybe my moisturizer in this. I don't know. My moisturizer like is four ounces, so I think I can bring it. So I got these two conditioners. This one's from Native. I thought this was deodorant and I was like, ooh. Let me get this but all the little small tiny deodorants were like gone basically and the tiny deodorant that was left was <sighs> secret but it wasn't aluminum free so i didn't buy it so i got this three minute conditioner i use ozzy like all the time so that's why i got this i've never tried this before hopefully it's good it says it's moisturizing um i'm not trying to do my whole like hair routine there but if it looks kind of crazy i'm gonna add some shit in there so then i got some johnson soap i don't really use johnson anyways but like i said there wasn't like a smaller version of like any soap that i would normally get i also got um vaseline so i got vaseline because first of all for my lips and two and two because my dermatitis has been flaring up a lot so if i start breaking out um on any part of my skin i'm just gonna slap that on because it's been getting pretty bad again so i just don't want to be uncomfortable <sighs> so yeah um, lastly the moment of truth i got these i can't really show you because i'm not sitting on a proper chair so i can't really like get flexible and show my moves but I need to get a chair so I can start sitting properly because when I film right here my butt hurts because I'm sitting on dog food container sandals and basically they're like my other chonclas but they have a little thing right here and I wanted some sandals on the trip because I'm gonna be getting my nails done and my toes done 
so my feet pics are about to be fire i'm not even joking i have a feet pic page on only vans i don't really like talking when i get my nails done i only really like talking when i go to ubers like i don't really like talking when i get like services done because it's just not my thing really but if you talk to me i'll talk back like i'm not rude but i'm just not really like a huge fan of talking some people say like they feel like they have to talk when they get their nails done because it feels awkward if you don't but i'm just like i don't know like the atmosphere is like okay um they talk amongst each other and i'm totally okay with that i know that one time they were all laughing because my cuticles looked really bad once and that was like last year <sighs> one of them said it in english and i was like oh I didn't know they were that bad, but I'm not here every single day. I'm not here every week getting a refill because I don't have money like that. So, I mean, I didn't really care that they were making fun of my, my cuticles, but you don't gotta do all that, like, in my face like that. Like, that was pretty ghetto. And some people do not, like, some people will not like that type of shit and they'll just be going off. But now I need to pick out my clothes for the next few days when I'm there and delete some clips because I'm running out of storage so I don't know how I feel about this okay so it's like literally the next day and um I got some stuff from Amazon um and it finally came in the mail so I got these food dispensers I never used these before for any of my pets and this is what it looks like this is a food dispenser so you put their food in here and then just dispenses right here and I got this because I was just really paranoid because I just feel like I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I'm going to be gone for technically like one full day. Um, I'm leaving Sunday at 12 p.m. And then I think when we do leave on Tuesday, it's either 6 in the morning or 8 in the morning. I can't really remember which one, but it's not even really that much of time of being in arizona it's really solely for the fact that like for the game it's not really for anything else um we're gonna try to squeeze some stuff in and i'm gonna try my best Oop. i'm gonna try my best to vlog every little thing that we're doing because i almost forgot about thinking about pajamas um i picked up these overalls the thing is i don't know where i think i was nowhere this under it I always start reveals like that okay so it's been like a couple of days later and i did not even show you guys like my nails so these are what they look like you can't even tell i got them done but they're like this nude color um i got them done like on friday it was like such a disaster though um i also noticed a flaw like my middle finger you can't even really see it but i had them done for like two or three days and it's not gonna focus but there's just something right here it looks like the polish is low-key lip so like i end up getting a manicure and a pedicure the second i got my toes done like i sat down the guy i've had him before he um did him and my foot started bleeding because he nicked me he nicked me too hard that my toe started bleeding and i was just like everything i spent 82 dollars on these you can't even tell that my nails are painted but i spent 82 dollars and then added two dollars was because i use a debit card what <laughs> i know some of that was because of the scrub and all that stuff but 82 dollars i thought i was gonna be spending at least like maybe 65 70 dollars but 82 bruh I really need to learn how to do it myself because this is ghetto. I also got a dupe of a Stanley Cup the other day and I'm obsessed with it. 
I mean, I've been drinking water out of it and everything, but I'm obsessed with it. But I don't think I'm taking this on the plane with me. My mom wanted to take this on the plane with us so we can get Starbucks in this, like put Starbucks in here. But I don't really want to do that anymore because I'm paranoid of losing my stuff. Like, I just am so paranoid right now of losing my stuff. So, today's agenda was is to finish packing and then also i need to go to rainbow because my mom's working right now and she told me to go to rainbow and do some returns i only do this for walmart but rainbow is like i don't know 20 30 minutes out so i was like i don't really want to pay for an uber i'm trying to save some money here and my dad was okay with him taking me there so yeah i've been spending like a lot of money on ubers and i spent 138 dollars on some groceries and most of it was waters like gallons of waters like thursday i can't really remember and it was just like 138 dollars and most of it was just like the I, I think i already said it but i'm just i'm so like i spent so much money these past few days and i just haven't even left texas yet like it's just kind of ridiculous but yeah i try to pack this this was kind of hard to do um because it was just like as i was pouring my face wash in here it just kept leaking on the side so like i don't feel like i need that much but i got most of it out so that was good but this is technically this is black soap if you're wondering like i just add like hot water and i take out a tiny piece of it and i just wait for it to melt and then i just shake it and then there and it just saves you so much product future me editing and i kind of jumped into it but what i was talking about was my podcast i do have a podcast out now and it's on spotify it's called pretty open-minded i don't have a schedule on what i'm posting but there's already one episode up and i think i'm gonna try to post an episode today and then yeah i kind of jumped into it so that was what i was talking about anyways yeah so make sure you go give it a listen um leave your thoughts on it and also yeah i have a lot of bunch of like i have a bunch of ideas on what i was going to do with the podcast like girl talks q a's um like currently and also talk about music like music news thoughts on our al favorite album stuff like that and also mental health stuff those are the things that i really wanted to talk about and just real life stuff that's going on in the world and give our opinions on it um yeah i was thinking about putting like okay when we get more established because my mom gets on there too um i haven't made an episode by myself yet um so it looks like the first three episodes is it's like a co podcasting which i don't have an issue with um I'm okay with having her on there, but the last episode that we filmed a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't really talking a lot in it. So, there's that. I'm glad that it's on Spotify, because I was like, I really wanted it on Spotify, because it's just, I use Spotify for music and listening to other people's podcasts. And it's really hard to find, like, good quality podcasts. And there's times where I listen to some and I feel like I didn't learn anything and they claim to do like self-help stuff. I said self, self-help, self-help stuff. But I feel like I didn't learn anything and I feel like it's just mostly self-explanatory things. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. There's just a lot to do. But when we get more established, what I was saying was about making a whole different YouTube channel and maybe even a TikTok for it so I can get more traction on it because um maybe talk about it a little bit more on both of my accounts. Like I have a business account for my small business and then I have um two one for vlogs and the other one for just like comment i don't know if it's really considered comedy i mean i just post on it just about what's going on in my life currently okay so i just want to quickly come in here and say that i wanted to end this video here i hope you enjoyed um i'm just about to film my other video is this a good angle? yeah so don't look at that 
I'm trying to pick out my clothes. So, um, I'm just about, I'm just about done and with this video and I want to end it because I'm about to film my next video. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.